Hello everyone, welcome to IPO Market Watch. My name is Mike. Thank you very much for uh, watching this channel, uh, the video. And if you are new to the channel, I cover initial public offerings, direct listings, and blank check companies. Basically, all the new listings. So if you want to stay up to date with all the new listings, then um, subscribe to the channel. Two more things, uh, three things. Please like the video uh, if you like the video. If you you know if you like it, please like the video. It, it really helps. Uh, you can also follow me on Patreon, where I have a channel called Bull Market Watch, and we cover stocks that I consider buy stocks that I consider will be great long-term investments. Okay, not day trading. I don't do you know we don't cover that. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, Webull. You can get up to four free stocks if you sign up with my Webull link, which is at the top of the description below. So it is Sunday, and like we do every Sunday, we're going to talk about SPAC calendar. But also, I'm going to include lockup periods, if there are any, which, which there are, and dividend increase. All right. So those three things. So BCAC units to separate into warrants and common stock. BCAC is the ticket symbol for the blank check company. And uh, it is uh, the Brooklyn Capital Markets. And uh, so uh, it'll separate into warrants to common stock February 22nd, February 22nd. So the company is led by CEO and Chairman Samuel Weathermer, a senior scientific advisor of Brooklyn Capital Markets, co-founder and uh, of financial service firm uh, Polywag, and a former private equity partner at Orbimed Advisors. Uh, the company plans to... Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm sorry, it's called Brooklyn Capital Acquisition Corp. Brooklyn Capital Acquisition Corp. All right, so the company plans to target business in the life science industry, specifically those that are growth oriented and well situated to act as a standalone public company. Next is the delayed uh, part here. This has to do with um, uh, switchback energy, the SPAC that's going to bring charge point to the market. It was, there was, this thing was supposed to be done with actually a while ago, uh, but the investors who in, who believed in this back and who, who believed in ChargePoint and invested their money uh, got lazy and didn't uh, vote the previous time. So it was you know now is the new uh, meeting. This is going to be February twenty fifth, guys. You guys have ChargePoint. Remember to vote. Shareholder meeting to approve business combination with ChargePoint is on February the twenty fifth. Next, IPO lockup period. So the initial public offering lockup period for JFrog, the stock JFrog with ticker symbol FROG, expires on February 22nd. Uh, Montrose Environmental Group, MEG is the ticker symbol, and Xpeng Motors, XPEV, expire on February 23. Projected dividend increases. This is for quarterly dividend increases, and, the, and I'm, you know, this is very positive news for those who have these following stocks. SBA Communications will increase their dividend from 46 cents to 56 cents from now on. Domino's Pizza is going to increase it from 78 cents to 93 cents. La Matre uh, Vascular from uh, 9 cents to 10, 10 cents, almost 11 cents. Assured uh, gar guarantee from 20 cents to 22 cents. Home Depot from 150 to 165. Sempra Energy from a uh, dollar and four cents to a dollar 14. Thermo Fisher from 22 cents to 24. Silgen from 12 cents to 13 cents. Versic Analytics from 27 cents to 29 cents. Uh, Mary Safe from 27 to 29 cents. And Southwest Gas from 57 to 61 cents. And that's the news for the coming week. I want to thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please consider hitting the like button and take care.